Oh, hang on. With us. There's Mike Burwell. What's up? Okay, sorry. I went. I uh, started and then stopped. So, hey, Tia's here. Here's say hi to Tia. Shad Ash. What up, Shad? Kyle Peterson's here. Greg Powers here. Adam Urban. Look who's with me. Stick your head in there, Ivan. I got these jokers with me. So, uh, Adam, Adam Irvin and Shad Ass, man, we had, we had a rough week this week. That was a rough one. Uh, I was beat to death yesterday. So, me and Ivan were kind of down for the count last night, but we're feeling better today, right? Billy Rose here, Jennifer Hart. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? So, uh, What's going on with you guys this afternoon? What up, Shad? Shad Ash. That's big old Shad Ash. Shad Ash. Easy money for you, Shad, not for me. It was rough. I almost died like three times this week. But it is what it is. Um, We're going to start uh, my koozie cup. Check that out. That Tia made. Tia's here with us. Um. We're going to start this next weekend. I uh, just want to give you guys a talk a little bit about it. It's going to be a very easy one. Greg Power says, good day. First time catching you live. I appreciate that. Good to see you. Adam says, yes, it was a crazy week. 25-ounce cans were on sale. We were dead. We were all dead. I was dead. Marcus Turpafield is here. Good to see you. Um, so we're going to start the uh, Tipsy Tumbler Challenge next weekend. It's going to be the simplest challenge. You guys are going to love this. Check that out. I love the smoke effect on this. And, and a lot of guys have been ordering these from, from Tia already. This is a, a stainless steel koozie holder. I'm actually drinking iced tea, so I, I don't have a cup in here. But I do have a, uh, just happen to have an empty beer can here, so that was pretty cool. Let me show you how these work. Stainless steel. And these things are awesome. It just fits right in there perfectly the top screws on it and that thing is locked in there so this thing is so tight that it is I mean it keeps this thing ice cold I had this thing outside uh, when I did the last uh, the last chat that we had <clears throat> had a had a beer in there for an hour I went inside the house an hour later after my long winded talks thing was ice cold still so these things are awesome she will be making a his and her uh, I don't know. It, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her because I'll, I'll see her tonight. I need to ask her if if you have a choice of the tumblers or the koozies. So um, the koozies are pretty pretty cool. And check that out. Tipsy tumblers by Tia and Kirsty. So thank you, uh, Tia and Kirsty, for for sponsoring this next challenge that we will start next weekend. It's going to be a blast. Stephen Anthony Kirshner. I drink my beer too fast to get warm. Absolutely, I do too. But hanging out at the river, one of these would be awesome. So, um, do you have a 25 ounce? She, I, I don't know if she does or not. I, this one is actually just a 12 ounce, but it's something to, uh, I'll ask her. I'll ask her tonight for sure. That'd be pretty cool. Most people drink, a lot of people drink 25 ounces, but 25 ounce, when I drink a 25 ounce, that's the one that gets warm towards the end. Oh, look at, look who joined us. Robert. Short Fuse Hawk and Bra, welcome back. Fresh out of Facebook jail. Good morning, Mike Peeler. I've been calling Robert Hawk and Bra at work. I've been calling him Short Fuse, so that name will probably stick. So, hope things are being calm for you, Robert. <clears throat> I did say challenge. Um, Tia will be making, it, it will have our logo like this. And it may have something customized on the back. I'm not sure. I'll find out for exactly. Robert Vanderripe is here. Uh, she did make this one for me, and it does say Papa Rock. Um, but it will have this logo. Um, so it will either be in a tumbler or a koozie cup, I think. So um, she will be doing his and hers. The you know. So if you win, your wife will also. Tia says I have them, but I have two special orders, so it will cost a bit more. So there you go. You can get a 25 ounce stainless steel koozie. So um, the his and hers, I believe we have, T and I had talked about it. The hers will have more of a glitter effect. Um, it's going to be the simplest challenge. All you have to do 
is post a picture of your drink cup that you use now, such as my 32 ounce Red Solo cup. I use it for my tea. Um, Sorry. It's okay. I use it for my tea. Basically, you take a picture of your drink of cho drink cup that you use now, and why you would need a new uh, a tipsy tumbler. Um, basically, tell us what's in it. What's your favorite summertime drink? Give us the recipe. If it's a it's a mixed drink, give us a recipe. If it's something that you may, if it's Kool Aid, tell them hey it's Kool Aid. My favorite flavor is this. You take a picture of that. Post it on the actual place where where we will have the challenge, just like we always do. You click on there, you click on comment, upload your picture, tell what's in there. If it's a, a mixed drink recipe, tell us, give us the recipe so we could try it. Just tell us what your favorite summertime drink is. You will have to put hashtag tipsy tumblers, very simple, and tag a friend, a family member that you think would, would love to have one of these tipsy tumblers tipsy tumblers or koozies so uh, Adam Irvin I can tell Tia that you will be ordering a 25 ounce koozie so there you go so I get her on that Tia you hear that hit up Adam Adam wants that koozie so it's that simple it's gonna be the, one of the easiest challenges and all you have to do is tag a friend that could use a tipsy tumbler or a koozie uh, give us a picture and your drink favorite summertime drink if it's sweet tea, say it's sweet tea and I put this much sugar and there you go, you're entered. So it's going to be that simple. I want this one to be the biggest participated challenge that we've had yet. Hashtag tipsy tumblers. What's in your drink? Picture of your tumbler that you use. Even if it's a torn up old beat up cup that you use, that you got from Disneyland in 1985. You need a new tipsy tumbler. So there it is. Uh, well, you know what, PJ, we were talking about doing a barbecue thing, but this is a summertime thing. It's a summertime drink. Um, you know, a, a lot of times I, I want people to enter this and I don't want people saying, oh, my, my steak didn't come out good or the, my grill marks aren't there on my chicken. Or, you know, take a picture of your cup, you know, let's have fun with this one. Let's see the old beat up cups that you use, you know, um, it's that simple you can end up with one of these you know it, it's that simple if you're taking a picture of your old beat up Disneyland cup you get a this awesome stainless steel koozie or tumbler and that you will love it, and it will last you forever it'll last longer than your Disneyland cup so Alyssa wants one Ivan wants one Christmas is coming so that being said it's gonna be very simple Chris is working on the actual uh, rules that will be on the page it will be in the announcements so when you're ready to do it all you have to do is click on our page click on the announcements find that post bang if a hey, PJ if you want to put a piece of bacon in your cup that's your favorite summertime drink you you're entered as always you haven't missed one yet so uh, I expect you guys to be in this one this one will be fun these are some of the other stuff that Tia's been creating for us thought this was pretty cool these are, this is our logo, and I basically bought this beer, beer mug, 99 cent store, cost me a buck, and I put that backyard barbecue decal on, thought it was pretty cool. Some of the other stuff, check that out. Is that cool or not? I think that's cool. Stainless steel thermos that I won't need till this winter, but this winter I will be rocking my backyard barbecue hero stainless steel thermos. Look at that. Compliments of Bud Light. Pow! Those are just some stickers that I ordered. Um, these decals, I love the decals, but I, they're a little difficult to put on. So um, I'm afraid that if I, if I sell these to people and they, they try to put these on the window and a piece doesn't go exactly right, we're going to have issues and you know people are going to say, hey, this thing's too hard to put on. So. I may be doing stuff like this. I may be giving some some of this stuff away, um, just to show you some of the. This was just a cool cool glass that I had, and I I put that sticker on there, and I thought, man, that thing's pretty cool. So, um, it's very very simple. There's, these are some of the stickers that I ordered as a sample. 
Um, I will be probably ordering these in a bigger size. These are a 3x3. Three three. I'll be ordering a 4x4. Four four. So these will be available probably soon. Um, this is a glass that Tia made me, a wine glass. And it, she did the two-colored logo on that, on that decal. And that decal is cool. It's just they're a little difficult if you don't know what you're doing to transfer the vinyl to the glass. So um, fantastic job on these, Tia. And we love them. But like I said, I don't think everybody has the patience and once you destroy one and you paid five bucks for it, people are going to be like, oh, it's too hard to put on and it messed up and um, stuff like that. You know what I mean? This is just stuff that I was messing with. But there's a lot of cool stuff that could happen. So let me let me go back here. I'm missing a bunch of comments here. Uh, these things rock. I just got one. Ron Pearson got one. I saw it. It was awesome. Uh, let's see. I'm... Uh, short fuse, you're being requested as a friend. Be careful, PJ. That guy has a short fuse, and he's a Raider fan too, so you might want to pull that request back. I'm just saying. Uh, the person, I, Billy Rowe, I don't think the person you tag has to be a member of the group. Um, hi, Michael. That's my brother-in-law. Uh, just tag them, and, and I'm not. We'll we'll, we'll figure that out because I'm not sure if they're not a member of the page that they will still be able to see it, but. Um, <clears throat> for sure, that's uh, just somebody who might who might use that. And basically, what we're trying to do is get people to to know where to go uh, to check Tia's Instagram. Tia does most of her stuff on Instagram. You know, uh, hashtag Tipsy Tumblers with the Z, and you will see all the stuff that her and Kirsty make, and it, it is awesome. These, these things are so cool. Uh, uh, let's see. PJ says my wife's not on, so you can't you can't ask about my kitchen fuse. Short and fast. I have the same exact one. Um, when I'm in the kitchen, people run because they. My wife calls me Gordon Ramsay because I do snap. I don't mean to, but it's just I want to do my own thing. Uh, Robert Hockabra says I'll roll by Rob Bauer's house as he sweats his behind off, cooking ribs on the grill and placing stickers on mugs this week. Come on by, man. Don't threaten me with a good time. I want decals I can use no problem okay I have some no problem John Evans my partner lifelong friend is here good to see you John John says what's up Rob Rob Bauer will have some time this fall to place logos on plates cars windows his glasses when the Cowboys are losing by 30 to the Eli Manning lead Giants good luck with that homeboy you got two Cowboy fans here man you're talking trash to three people at once that's awesome that's why you have a short fuse so that being said, these guys are born cowboy fans. They are cowboy fans. They will be for life, whether we win or lose. So bring on the trash talking. I don't care. We're cowboy fans. We're used to it. So um, there's a plane flying over. Check that out. I'm trying to get one that says Cowboys King of the NFL, but no luck on that. That's Alyssa. Alyssa just started school this week. So did this guy. They started on Wednesday. They love school. Welcome back to school, all the all the kids. And the parents are going, man, finally. Uh, here we go with the trash talking. It's I know it's coming. Brainwash isn't a way to live life, Robert Bauer, Esquire. Okay. Giants are going down. Go Cowboys. That's right, John Evans is a Cowboy fan. Sorry to hear that, Rob Bauer. Uh, let me guess. Philadelphia Eagles fan, I would imagine. Brian Disney's here. What's up, Brian Disney? Um, Jamie Solano's here, long time no see. Cheers. Check that out. I, I just love this thing, man. I show it off everywhere I go. Anytime people are around. And Tia, I will have this today, this afternoon, for our tailgating. That's another thing. Uh, this is our first sprint car race of the year, isn't it? Have we been to sprint cars this year yet? We have not. So, sprint cars tonight. Sprint cars tonight at Paris Auto Speedway. Uh, if you don't have plans today, beginning at 3 p.m., Michelada Rumble at Paris Auto Speedway should be fun. Whoa, this dude, is, is that wrestling? Because this dude is a huge wrestling fan, both of them, actually. I go in their rooms, and they're watching Monday Night Raw and stuff. I'm like, what? No, it's real. It's real? Oh, yeah, it's real. It's real fake. But it's fun. I, I watch it. Um, we will be out there, my friend. Uh, let's see. Mike Peeler says he wish he has his tipsy tumbler. 
with me right now to show off. It's man, these things are cool. So um, Tia is doing some some cool stuff for me right now also. So uh, Tia is pretty much a sponsor of our page now, and we welcome her. She's an awesome lady. She, her, and Kirsty, uh, they do great stuff. So. The ideas and wheels are turning in our heads. We're always coming up. Donnie Sanchez, what's up, man? So, uh, lots of cool stuff coming. Um, like I said, the decals, I love them. I just, uh, I don't want any issues with people saying that uh, the A came off when they tried to stick them on. Uh, Michelada Rumble concert, Lucha Libre. I'll be there, Rob, getting out five draft trailers running. Sweet. Maybe you can uh, slip a few cold ones out that back door too for your favorite blood, bud driver just saying but uh tia will also be with me tonight at, at the speedway her and jason her husband and her two boys we had a blast at uh, nights of destruction last time you guys um if you guys are going to be in the parish area you guys want to come out hit me up I, I may have a few tickets i'm just saying so uh we will be out there we may get there about three we're gonna Kind of come out and hang out a little bit, have a couple cold ones, go in and CRA Sprint Cars tonight. Uh, those are our favorite. We love the Sprint Cars. So Sprint Cars are racing tonight at Paris Auto Speedway. We will also, uh, there. it is also Hall of Fame night. So if you're a Sprint Car fan, a lot of your favorite uh, Hall of Fame Sprint Car racers will be out there signing autographs in the sports bar. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. You get to see there's gonna have they're gonna have a bunch of the vintage sprint cars out, um, a lot of you know the old sprint cars before the roll cages that type of stuff. <clears throat> you suck, Robert. You absolutely suck. How can Adam be your favorite driver? I, I, that may have just got you taken off the page. I'm saying, there you go. Short fuse. Short fuse may be history. So uh, look for him in Facebook jail very very soon. So because I will report him. Um, just kidding, having a lot of fun, and my neighbors are out doing some work on the houses and stuff. We're going to clean the pool here in a minute. Um, so, Adam waves to me. I waved to you. I waved to you all the way across the warehouse the other day. So, Adam, if you're not doing anything, you want to come hang out with us at the Speedway tonight? Come on. So, uh, Adam always says he's going to go to the races, and he never goes. Yeah. yeah. Always got something going on, but uh, again, some of this stuff, like I said, this is all stuff that we're just kind of messing with. Um, I can do this kind of stuff, Tia, and I can do some stuff. Thought this was pretty cool. This was just I just threw this on there and do it. Um, I pick up these water bottles all the time from from work, and this, you know, I thought this was pretty cool. So for a buck, you got a nice, decent, thick beer mug. So just something to put on the shelf or whatever. Um, as I said, I have I have a few stickers. These are samples uh, to check the quality out, um, and and they're easy to get. Like I said, so stuff like that. I, I know guys can have an easier way of, of putting stuff on there. Uh, Sarah Witek is is going to Costa Mesa Speedway for Harley Night tonight. That's cool. I haven't been out there. At the, I, I haven't been to Ir Irwindale in a long time. I've been meaning to get out to Irwindale and see some racing out there. They had figure eights and all kinds of stuff. Derek McMeans is here. Joel Sloan is here. Good afternoon, morning to you guys. Good to see you. Uh, we all died last night and went home. We came home and went to sleep, and <clears throat> it was a rough week. Um, beer sales were crazy this week, so that was good. Good for the company, good for us. We made some money. But uh, other than that, we're going to probably head out to the Speedway probably around 3 or so. So, again, if you guys want to come out, we want to bring the kids out. You know, I, I do have some extra tickets. So, uh, come out and have some fun. Mike Peeler says he'll be ordering a few more things from you this week. That's what we want. Tia is a very busy person, but she, she knocks this stuff out. Uh, Tia, she was a receiver at one of my staters for the longest time. That's how we became good friends. She's still a receiver at staters, and she works very hard. And then comes home and, and does this kind of stuff for me. So I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, I can't, can't thank her enough. Thank her for the stuff that she does. Robert Vanderwright from Smoke Me Silly is here. Welcome to, and good to see you guys. 
He says, Monday night, Chew and the Fat topic will be brisket. If any of the heroes have a specific brisket questions, let him know. That's awesome. And you guys will be getting tips on brisket from one of the best brisket makers that I've ever met. And that is the honest to God truth. I met Robert uh, out in Rancho Mirage at... Uh, it was, a, it was a, actually a, a charcoal only, uh, charcoal or wood, no electronic devices, and this guy rocked out one of the best tasting briskets I've ever tasted in my life, and that's how we met. And we've been great friends uh, ever since. He and Lex are amazing people. They, uh, they are one of the top teams in the United States, so uh, very, very cool. And if you guys, I, I will stream that. Um, Robert, please text me. Uh, about 20 minutes before you guys go live on Monday night to remind me and I will I will stream that to the page So you guys on the page can tune in and uh, chat with Robert Robert and Lex and uh, so, And get some tips on brisket man. I, I who, who can't use tips on brisket? Um, Mike Peeler says Tia Angelieri. Thank you for sponsoring this contest. Absolutely uh, It's gonna be a fun one. We try to keep them as simple as we can. There is no reason why you guys cannot get in this challenge so I mean look it's that simple you take a let me see sorry to move you guys around you take a shot of that and say iced tea with lemonade and a shot of Jack that's my favorite summertime drink pow hashtag tipsy tumblers and tag one of your friends that could use an awesome tipsy tumbler man you were entered just like that uh, Ricky Doolin says what's on the grill today I do not know um, we are heading out early I may knock something out I'm not sure what yet um, and it, one other thing too I want to talk about are you guys bored no they, they don't like listening to me talk about barbecue but uh, again I, I want you guys to get in on this deal before it's too late uh, Area 51, sucklebusters.com backslash area 51 backslash. You can order these promos and prototype uh, rubs, marinades, and they are amazing. These are not actually on the webpage yet to be released. They will be very soon, and once they do, I can assure you the price will not probably be what the Area 51. It may. I don't know. I I'm not in charge of that. I spoke with Dan Arnold this morning. Um... I will, Brian. Very good point. Thank you for reminding me about that. Um, take care, Mike Peeler. Have a fantastic weekend. You as well. Be safe as well. Do not drink and drive ever. And thank you. Have a great weekend. Um, oh, man. Ricky, I'm telling you, Tia does good work. Um, Area 51, order some of this stuff. You can try it out. Um, I just noticed that they have a chili lime seasoning. It's kind of a citrus blend, I believe is what I was talking with Dan Arnold this morning, probably an hour ago. Um, I, I ordered the beef marinade because it was back in stock. I just received a, a shipment of the other stuff that I ordered. I ordered the beef marinade because it was back in stock. I ordered, I think, 10 of them. Um, I have a tri-tip competition coming up September 21st in Big Bear again. So I need it for, for that one. Before, I could not talk about it. I've been given the okay to talk about this new beef marinade, uh, and it is it is awesome. It's it's a, like I said, it ch it changed my whole. I've been using the same exact recipe for my tri tips. When I got a hold of this beef marinade, um, was the first time I used it was when I did the competition in Big Bear, and I won that competition. So um, I'm very very pleased with this beef marinade. And what I do is I marinate the tri tip overnight in this beef marinade, then I strain it the next day and inject the juice with minus all the herbs and stuff that are in it, just inject the juice with it. And it's fantastic. It, it absolutely blew my regular recipe away. So um, it's back in stock. I ordered 10 of those uh, for myself. And then I noticed they had a chili lime seasoning and it was brand new, it's called Mojo. Uh, I had to have it. So I ordered five more of those. Um, these things are like $3 each. Uh, they're Canadian spice rub if you're a fan of Montreal steak seasoning this Canadian steak seasoning is way better than the Montreal so if you're a fan of Montreal steak seasoning do yourself a favor get some of that Canadian steak seasoning uh, you can thank me later because you will absolutely love it <clears throat> um, 
Brian wants. Okay, I'm getting. It would be a great steak marinade. Uh, I guarantee it. It's, it's. Um, I've talked with Dan about it, and he says basically I mix the seasoning. It comes in a dry form, a dry powder. I mix it with eight ounces of red wine, and eight ounces of beef stock, or uh, I use uh, either the miner's beef stock, something like that. Uh, so you have a total of 16 ounces of liquid to mix with that dry. Um, it's fantastic. So I would not go longer than 20. I've, I've marinated my tri-tips at least 24 hours. So I think that's enough time. You can even do as little as probably 10 hours or 4 hours, whatever. Um, it's got a good salt content, so it gets into the meat. Um, but, yeah, it, I think it would be fantastic. Give it a try. Uh, Sucklebusters.com backslash area 51 backslash. And you can order those for for three bucks. They're you know individually packaged three bucks. Will marinate up to I believe ten pounds, ten pounds of meat. Um, and they're it's really good stuff. Uh, and as somebody told me today, be careful when you open that dry package. Don't stick your nose in, and take a big whiff because it will it will clean you out quickly. Um, let me backtrack here a little bit. Uh, let's see. So again, remember Monday night. Chewing the Fat Barbecue Topic. I will stream it to Backyard Barbecue Heroes. Uh, lots of, if you have questions about your brisket, these guys will answer your questions and give you some top, top advice. So, uh, Joel Sloan says, they have two big drag strips here and we love going to watch since we sold the car. Enjoy the fun tonight. Absolutely, we will. Uh, Mike Peeler says, thank you for sponsoring this. Uh, Let's see. Okay, Brian Disney wants me to remind members, if you have, and we appreciate you guys adding people to the page. That's, it's, uh, it, it, it's awesome, you know, because I, I, what it shows me is people join the page, they like the page so much, they want their friends to get in it. So, absolutely add your friends, but please have your friends answer. There's three questions, and they're very simple questions, and basically it outlines, uh, it outlines what we, we want from our page. Um, what we expect from our page, and it's pretty much just the rules. Have them answer the three questions. It's that simple. Uh, and it, it really does help us out, because then people can't say, hey, we didn't know that you we're not allowed to cuss. We didn't know that we're not allowed to post profanity, that type of thing. So, uh, very good point. Thank you, Brian, for reminding me of that. Um, T is making some bad-ass cups for Ricky Doolin. Uh, Alejandra's here. Say hi to Alejandra. So, um, we're putting some more water in the pool. We're going to clean the pool here. Uh, we may throw some something on the grill. I'm not sure yet. But, again, uh, Paris Auto Speedway tonight. If you guys are going to be out there, hit me up. Let me know. We can get together and say hi. Kids and I are excited. It should be a nice day. It's been really hot today. It feels doesn't feel as hot. Um, but, for sure, we're going to we're gonna get out and have some fun tonight. Uh, should be a very, very packed house tonight because of Hall of Fame night. So, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Look for the post. Uh, Chris is working on the, the Tipsy Tumblers Challenge. Uh, check out Tia's page on Instagram. Hashtag Tipsy. T-I-P-S-E-E-T-U-M-B-L-E-R-Z. Hashtag Tipsy Tumblers. You can check, check out her page. See what she does. She does amazing work. She can customize pretty much anything that you send her. Um, she she does her and, her and Kiersey uh, got it going on this is a very very cool thing so um, you guys if, I kid you not I was blown away by this this koozie I have never had a koozie like this thing and the custom work with the, the smoke on it and uh, remember if you do win this challenge your significant other will also receive one so uh if your wife wins it, she's going to get the glitter one. You're going to get the other one. So she can customize, maybe put, and I also asked her to put uh, challenge champion on this. So you can show that to your, to your friends. And when you're out having a cold one and it says, they say, Hey, what's a challenge champion. You can tell them all about it. You know, it's what we do. We, we have some fun together. We do some cooking together. We do some drink posts together. We have fun together, so 
that's what this page is all about. It gets us away from all the garbage and trash and the negativity that we see. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And, and to be honest with you, I spend more time on this page than I do regular Facebook because regular Facebook depresses me. So um, kids like the page. They watch it with me also. They like to do, I'm very happy that they're home. They've been gone for five weeks. Started back at school. They're, they're both jacked about school. They absolutely are excited about the new school year which I think is awesome so uh, Alyssa has what one more year and then you go to high school she'll be in high school Dang. and then Ivan will go to what do they call it middle school now middle school six seventh and eight yeah. when I was a kid we didn't we had junior high school and it was seventh and eighth grade right am I right it's been a long time so I could be wrong um, Ricky Doolin, awesome. I will be chat. Well, I was gonna call Greg today, Greg Clapper, uh, from he's the one that's directing the uh, tri tip cook off, and he I believe he's on he's at the river though, so uh, we may have to chat this week. I will get the details on the 21st. Those of you, September 21st, if you're in this area, Big Bear Lake, uh, American Legion, we will do another tri tip cook off. This one will be bigger and better. Uh, Cody Cessna was out with us last time. Tim Lehman was out with us. Uh, my buddy Ricky was out there. So we had some, we had some fun. I I I want more guys out there. You know, I, I want to represent Backyard Barbecue Heroes. I want my my buddies from Backyard Barbecue Heroes to be out there. Uh, it's a good time. I know for a fact uh, that a few guys have told me they will be there. I won't mention names, but. Um, it, it's going to be a good time. So, Ricky Doolin, I'm, I'll be glad to, to cook with you. Ricky Doolin, for you that for those of you that don't know, uh, he's he's from Barbecues Galore in Irvine. So, he's somebody. He's got some great stuff going on too. So, uh, check him out. Ricky Doolin does some great posts on the page, some great videos. He has an actual barbecue kitchen at Barbecues Galore. I've been meaning to get out there, Ricky, and do some cooking with you, man. Uh, we'll do some demos. Um, he's got some cool stuff, so uh, that would be a lot of fun. As soon as we can find the time, buddy, we are out there, and uh, I, I think I think I'm going to be in for some competition this time. You know, I almost had a perfect score last time. Now I want a perfect score in tri tip. I missed it by one point, so um, I want a perfect score, and I will be bringing it. So I I, I welcome the challenge. I welcome uh, the competition. You may, uh, I, I, I hope that somebody can hand it to me. So, um, not being cocky, but my tri tip has come a long way and I'm very, very proud of it. So, uh, it's going to be fun. You know, I, I'm, I'm a very gracious loser. If I get beat, I will be picking your brain to find out how you beat me. So, uh, it should be a lot of fun. Rachel Mendoza, good to see you. Hi, how are you? Tell my buddy Joe I miss him. There's Greg Clapper right there. Greg, I thought you were at the river, man. So, uh, Greg Clapper is that I was just talking about the, the tri tip cook off September 21st. Uh, we will be well represented from Backyard Barbecue Heroes. I will get with you. I did not forget. I'm sorry. Uh, Greg messaged me and asked me to call him, and it, it's been the most chaotic week ever. Um, this heat and 25 ounce cans on sale have absolutely beat me to death. So, um, I will get with you. Let me know when you have time so we can chat. Uh, this one is going to be way better, and you will have some talent. Trust me. Uh, anybody that's going to be in the Big Bear area, good, good. Joe says hi. Uh, we need to get together, Rachel and, and Joe, and do some cooking. Uh, Paris Auto Speedway tonight. I'll be out there. I'm, I don't think I'll be cooking out there, but um, I will be out there. If you guys want to come out, come hang out. But uh, definitely... The tri-tip challenge is on my mind. It's, I'm going to bring it. I'm just telling you. I'm going to bring it better than I did last time. And uh, like I said, I, I want that perfect score. So, uh, Stephen, my tri-tips I usually get, if I'm just cooking for home, um, I go with Stater Brothers or Costco. But for the competition, my turn-ins, I do normally go to Costco and buy Prime. Um, I will pick through tri-tips and 
pick out the very best ones. I do pay a lot more money for the primes, but for your turn-ins, you can't. You have to get. You have to have primes. Uh, Joe Mendoza, bring it. Oh, he says. Then he woke up. You know what? You could. You could do it, Joe. That that cook-off is September 21st in Big Bear Lake. Um, come out and have some fun with us, man. You know, if if anything, like I said, if I get beat, I will learn from whoever beat me. I promise you, and I will get better. So, um, and I, you know, I, I kind of let the cat out of the bag. I told you that where I get my marinade from now, that's what I've been using for the injection. I told you exactly how I did it. I marinate eight ounces of red wine, eight ounces of beef, beef broth. So 16 ounces total of liquid with that dry, uh, dry ingredients from Suckle Busters, area 51. Um, I mix those, marinate 24 hours. I strain it the next day and use the juice to inject what's left after the, the herbs and spices and peppers and everything are out. I just use the juice and inject that and it is phenomenal. So I've given you guys my recipe. I told you exactly what I use um, down to the ounces and mix. So uh, come out and hand it to me, okay? You know, it's my rubs. I use different rubs. Uh, I believe the last one at the turn in that we did with Greg Clapper, I did, uh, I used Suckle Buster's Campfire Steak Seasoning. I will be using the Canadian, oh, I also used the Espresso Rub, the prototype that I'm allowed to talk about now. I'm allowed to talk about all those prototypes on Area 51. Uh, Hottinger Family Meats, I don't, I have not ever seen one, um, but I will look it up. Um, I know Robert Vanderripe, they use, uh, well, they don't, they don't do tri-tips, but their briskets are usually uh, Snake River Farms, if I'm not mistaken. So they're Wagyu. Um, I'm not in a category to pay for Wagyu yet, but, you know, if, if, if that's what it takes to get that perfect score, I might have to. But, um, it, you know, am I wrong? Because last time I won the competition, I did very well, but I did not get that perfect score, and, and now it's like, I missed it by one point. Greg Clapper can tell you, I want that perfect score. You know, is, is that something that you chase? Uh, even after winning a competition, do you still want that 180? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess so. He said yes. So, um, you know, that's the thing. We always try to better ourselves. And most people, you know, would say, oh, you should be happy you won it. Okay, well, I am, but I want to win it with a perfect score now. So, um, that being said, it's snake river is it's quality but you're gonna pay for it absolutely um, so and that's why the pros use it you know it sometimes it's a uh, <clears throat> I, I think quality of the meat is one of the most important things you know you you can flavor up a lot of meat but the texture of the meat is is what gets you those points I believe so um, you can ask Robert Robert's here Robert Vanderripe smoke me silly if you guys don't don't know who Robert Vanderripe and Lex Vanegas are. Um, they they make up the team of Smoke Me Silly. They're on Bama Q. Yeah, see, all us cooks chase perfection every time. Absolutely. Um, check them out. Check out Robert Vanderripe and Lex Vanegas. Check out Bama Q. Uh, you, you know, Bama Q. I believe Destination America. Robert, is that correct? Uh, Joe, you. I always need a taster, homeboy. You are welcome. Come over anytime. I cook on the weekends. So, you just come by. Uh, Hot Your Family Meats is where he normally takes his elk to be processed. I, I don't get a chance to get elk out here. Um, so, I would love to do some hunting. It's just time doesn't allow it for me. So, uh, and I have to travel quite a ways to, to get to it. So, um, but yes. Uh, Robert Vanderripe, it, it is on Destination America. Um, Bama Q is the show. Bama Q, we have a lot of guys on here from Bama Q, and they are amazing people. Uh, Bama Q, if you guys don't know what it is, check it out. Uh, it's, it's a program, TV program, that basically is behind the scenes of uh, competition barbecue in Alabama. Uh, these guys do a phenomenal job. I've learned so much just from watching that show. Um, and now it's, it's fun to watch the show and realize these are friends of mine, you know, so 
uh, Chester Chester Reed is on there. Uh, not Chester Reed. Uh, God, just forgot his last name. Um, from the specialists, the specialists, uh, great teams. These guys are, are, are amazing, amazing people. Um, I haven't seen the awards uh, being posted too much lately. Uh, Robert says both seasons are on Amazon Prime Video too. Okay. Uh, and Greg says he's at the river but still trying to drop in. Uh, Greg, please call me when you get back from the river and we will chat and get this thing organized and uh, I can pass on more information to these guys. Um, but yes, check out Robert Vanderripe and Lex Vanegas, two of my favorite people. I, we actually met face to face before they were on TV and uh, I can tell you his that brisket is, I've, I've, I've tasted Myron Mixon's brisket and I mean, Myron's is good, but I, I was blown away, Robert, really. And Robert and Lex pulled out their graph and their charts and showed me exactly how they, what they did on that brisket. I'm, I'm not a brisket uh, perfectionist. I'm not, you know, I try. I'm not great with brisket, but I'm still learning. So for somebody to actually show me every little secret and detail they have, that, that meant a lot to me. So uh, very proud to call these people my friends. Um, I follow them on their show. It's a great show. And like I said, if you want to, you want to spend 30 minutes and watch a show that, you know, looks like a lot of fun and, and people just having a good time together. Check it out. So Deborah Salazar is here. Good to see you, Deborah. Deborah is married to my ex teammate, Ed Salazar. We used to call him cowboy Ed. So miss you guys so much. Uh, Greg says, September 21st, we'll get you a full flyer when I get back. Absolutely. And then I will pass it along. Um, what else did I see? I saw Ricky Doolin says, starting tomorrow, they have a cooking class starting. That's at the Irvine Barbecues Galore. So check that out if you're in the area. You can get with Ricky and find out the details on that. Uh, Ricky, or Ricky, if you want to send me the details, I will post it to the page for anybody near the Irvine area. Um, absolutely. Steven says it's a, it's a tough meat to cook. Um, Robert says one day we will... We, they will be out to visit and cook a brisket at your place. I would absolutely love that. And I told you before, I have plenty of room here, Robert. If you guys get out there, I know that you guys have a son in uh, San Diego. So I have plenty of room for you. You guys come hang out here and we will do some cooking together, man. I would absolutely love that. So uh, please plan to, to come to California sometime soon. And uh, when you do, like I said, come stay here and, and we will throw down some food. So... Uh, Cindy Clapper is here. Good to see you. Uh, Ricky says, taught by Longhorn Barbecue Pit. Sweet. If you have time, Ricky, if, if uh, you could go live and, and show some of that, I, I would really appreciate it. Uh, post it to the page. It would be kind of cool to follow along on a go live. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, i got to clean the pool and get some work done around here before we head out tonight. So I wish you guys a great weekend, uh, a safe weekend. Please do not drink and drive. Have some fun with your family, um, but please be safe. So have a great time and check out the page. I will be posting about the Tipsy Tumblers Challenge coming up soon. Um, Alyssa and Ivan will be helping me with that as well. So uh, you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Talk to you soon.